These are the main police cars in the Lego town. Uh, they are loosely based on the very original minifig police car. If you look at it and you look up the instructions, you'll recognize the general blockiness of it. Of course, on the original police set, this was a convertible back here with just one big, large, round light on the windshield header. Uh, no lights on the cars, the red hub wheels, etc. This is just a modification of it and an updating in that we've added lights and push bars and everything a modern police car needs. So, uh, just like the taxis, we have Unit 1 and we have Unit 2. And I am going to build a unit... Which one's which now? Okay. <laughs> this is actually the original car. This is the copy I made to match it. So if you'll excuse me, knock you over, plunk you over here. Number two is a simplified, simplified version of the original car. And this is one that would be easier for you to build. Uh, there's just some basic changes to the way the back pieces go together. And this plate is a little bit more commonly found than the old style. So this is the one we will build. Before we do that, a little rundown of the features. We have lights underneath for the front and all of these stickers, uh, with the exception of the ones on the doors, which came from Lego that way. Uh, all of these stickers are ones you can print off your printer at home. Uh, we did add a bigger light bar. This is a siren, I guess, the wailing part of it. Uh, there's room here in the back, unfortunately not for a person, but for carrying tickets. We call these tickets. There's parking tickets and moving violations and uh, I forget what the other one is. Something Tyler came up with. Anyway, uh, the way the tickets work, if you want to use that idea, is you simply take them off and they go on the door. So parking tickets, come back, that's your parking ticket. And uh, the extras are just kept inside the cruisers. Okay, this car is very easy to build, uh, so I'm not going to take it completely apart, but enough that you can get the idea. This is the standard base plate that was used. Uh, you can tell the difference between it and the originals because the original ones have a hole in it. Uh, the original one, as a result, uh, does not have room for a seat. So this car actually does not have a seat, whereas this being the more modern plate, it does. It's a little nicer for the cop there. Uh, you'll see how this plays out and the difference in construction uh, on this portion of it as we go forward. So, you get your base plate, you add your uh, your lights underneath, steering wheel, seat, and then I just put some 1x4s, actually these are 1x2s here, plates underneath just to kind of give it a little bit lower look. Every police car needs a set of cool wheels, so we've swapped out the red ones for these nice ones. And then this is the push bar piece. I'm not sure what it's originally intended for, but it looks like one of those pit maneuver bars. So put that on there. And that's your basic rolling chassis. We put the sticker around here, just like the Pennsylvania State Troopers have. Uh, doors are the standard Lego police doors. I still like the old look the best. And the entire department has that. And these are just the usual... So this much is very this is so far uh, very much like a regular Lego car goes together. Now I'm going to go ahead and just plunk the front on, and then I'll explain how it's built when we do the back. Uh, but this is basically the front assembly. You can kind of figure it out from that. And it just goes on as one big piece. The front and the back of these cars are built exactly the same. So we start with the wheel arch. It goes on just like that. Here's your 1x4 with some tail lights. Snap it on, just like that. This is a 2x3 plate. We put a little police sticker on the end. And it goes on, just like that. Again, this is exactly like the front, except it's got red lights instead of yellow lights. To top it off, with these plates here. Now, on the original car, you'll notice that the black line extends all the way to the door, whereas on this one it stops there. That's because this is a simplified construction, the front and the back being the same. On the original car, there's a little bit more room on the inside, but there is no seat. You can build it either way. Uh, if you go that route, then this would be a 1x4 plate going to a uh, 
a uh, one by two plate going to a one by four plate with two one by one plates stacked here. That's really the only difference. You have to part in the dust, so there you top off the back fenders. Gotta kind of have your radio antenna. You stick that on there. Gotta kind of make sure you have your tickets handy. So you put those inside. Square back window. Gain a little space. Uh, you can also fit radios and all kinds of handheld radios and stuff back in this area. Now, originally these were back windows. We've now moved them to the front so we can put the square backs on. That's why they have the sticker on them. We just didn't take them off. That's the basic car. Now the front, uh, the top's very easy. It's a standard top. It's got a, uh, it's kind of hidden in here. Those are the pieces that go on there. All right, so we just stick this. It's a faucet. It's a faucet piece. We just stick it in there on that end. And the light bar is just a one by four with tile lights on top and a grill. I think we've done these alternating. Yeah, we've done them alternating so that from side to side they're different on the top versus the bottom of the car. And that goes right on. Boy, it's really dusty. Sorry about that. And there you go. Two cruisers.